and welcome to this uh, very short presentation on how to improve the interactivity in an interactive slideshow. So this is something that you may need to do as part of your B-Certs coursework. So what I've done here is I've created uh, a demonstration presentation which is for like a Jurassic Park Visitor Centre and you can see that there's some action buttons on there which I can use and click on. But the problem is at the moment I've just got this set up like a conventional slideshow. So if I'm on this screen and I accidentally just click here, you can you can see what happens. I just move to the next slide. And likewise, even though there's a button here that I can click, I actually don't have to. I can click anywhere and then it just advances through the slides in order. Now, the problem with that is that an interactive slideshow doesn't necessarily run in order and, and if the user then clicks on something by mistake it's it's not helpful uh, and they're going to get lost in the presentation it's going to take them out of sequence and it's not going to do what you designed it to do so there's a really 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 simple fix which you can do with just a couple of mouse clicks um, and I'm going to show you how to change that uh, so I'm going to quit out of my presentation um, and go back into PowerPoint and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to put this into kiosk mode. So you've probably looked at what a kiosk is. A kiosk is kind of like the, like a, an interactive system that you might use in McDonald's to order your food or in a railway station to buy tickets or in a museum to, to interact with an exhibit. So it means that you can only click on certain elements of the interface and the rest of the elements of the interface won't work. So if I go to uh, slideshow and then I want to go to set up slideshow, uh, you can see that I've got some options here and one of those is just simply show type and it says browsed at a kiosk full screen. So if I just select that item there, that option there and I click OK and now I'm going to run the presentation again and I can still move the mouse as you can see it still animates when it appears but this time if I click anywhere on the screen I can't trigger anything, I can only trigger I can trigger the YouTube button if I want to do that. I can trigger the sound link if I want to hear the sound. And I can go to the buttons. But if I accidentally click on anything other than those items that I want the user to click on, I can't do it. So it's basically locked the presentation down so that the user can't accidentally navigate to the wrong part. So really, to make a, pro a professional presentation, you really should make sure that the last thing you do is to put it into kiosk mode so that you can control how the user navigates through your show. So good luck with that and I hope you managed to create an interesting and enjoyable presentation.